since COVID has started, we were pretty much stuck at home. Well, maybe not literally stuck at home, but we haven't really went anywhere too far from our home and we didn't have any holiday trips at all. The last holiday trip we had was at the end of 2019 when we went to Melbourne, Australia to visit my brother's family there. So last week, we finally have our first ever holiday trip in about three years time. We went to Queenstown, which is one of my favorite holiday destination. And luckily for us, it is only a short 90 minutes flight. We have been to Queenstown so many times, but because it's such a beautiful and relaxing place there, we just love going back there every time we want to have a holiday escape. Now, if you are someone like me who has more than one camera, deciding which camera to take with me to the trip is always a very difficult decision. I want to limit myself to just bring one main camera. So do I take one of my Michael Forford's camera like my last Queenstown trip in 2019? Or should I take my Leica Q like my Japan trip? Or what about my trusty Nikon Z6? In the end, I decided to take my Panasonic S5 with the 2060 kit lens, 70 to 300, and also the Lumix S51.8 prime lens. This is still a reasonably small setup that covers everything from wide angle to telephoto, and also including a fast prime lens for low light. There's actually another big reason why I picked the S5 for this trip, which I will explain to you in a second. I also took the HNY Refo Ring CPL and Variable ND filter because it is an all-in-one filter that can fit on all the three lenses that I bought thanks to its variable mount design. I also packed my Gitzo Travel tripod and an Insta360 X3 which I bought specially for this trip. One of the surprise of this trip is Lake Hayes, which is just a few minutes from Queenstown. We didn't plan to stop there, but as we were driving from Queenstown to Arrowtown on the second day of the trip, we saw this beautiful lake with the mirror-like refraction, so we stopped there. Now apparently we were quite lucky that day because we drove past there a few more times later on during the trip, and even though 
the weather was still great and no wind at all, we just couldn't see that mirror-like reflection again later on that trip. Some of you may have already noticed all the photos in this video are in a very wide aspect ratio. The main reason is we have been to Queenstown so many times. This time I want to capture something a little bit different. So I gave myself a little fun challenge to shoot in 2.7 to 1 ultra wide aspect ratio, which is the same aspect ratio as the classic Hasselblad Xpand camera and also very close to the IMAX 2.74 to 1 aspect ratio. So hopefully I can capture something that look a little bit more cinematic this trip. And this is the reason why I picked the Panasonic S5 because the camera has the built-in 65 to 24 aspect ratio mode that I can choose to output 2.7 to 1 aspect ratio photos. The viewfinder and the LCD display will show me that 2.7 to 1 preview and that allows me to visualize and frame the photo a lot easier to create the ultra-wide aspect ratio result. It is a really fun way to shoot very differently with the same camera and I highly recommend you to try it out if you are shooting with a Panasonic S5 or any camera that supports this kind of ultra wide aspect ratio mode. If you live in New Zealand, you must have heard of that Wanaka tree. It is one of the most photographed trees in the world. But for me, for some reason, I have never ever 
took any photo of that tree even though I have been to Wanaka so many times. Maybe because I have seen so many photos of that tree, so yeah, do I really need to take another photo of the tree? But this time, the last day of our trip, we were at Vanaka and we had a bit of spare time. So I thought, okay, let's go there and let me take a photo of that tree. And finally, I took my first photo of that Vanaka tree. I myself really like creating travel photo vlog like this video because it combines a few things that I really like photography, travel and creating video contents so I hope you are enjoying this video as well and you can support me by giving this video a like or drop a comment below and let me know if you enjoy this type of video I would suggest you to check out my photo vlog video from my trip to Japan a few years ago and if you are planning to visit Queenstown and want some suggestions on where to go, what to do, just let me know and I will try to give you some suggestions as well.